Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm so sorry about that. This is Shanae from Sedgwick County Zoo. We had a little bit of technical difficulty there in that our tablet would not switch over. So I wanted to let you guys know today we are marrying in that perfect combination of zoo science, uh, the program that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, as well as our animal welfare. Some of you guys got to see Kara and I do a full welfare assessment. Um, we've talked to Dr. Hall uh, also about our animal welfare here at the zoo. And now you can see some of our students in action. Um, Dr. Hall is here with us. Hi. Dr. Hall, tell us what the students are doing and why this is so important. So today we are collecting browse, which we intend to distribute to our animals during the winter. Uh, right now it's a beautiful day. Like you said earlier, it's about 90 degrees out and we have this lush mulberry tree. In fact, a row of them behind me and the animals just love mulberry among other trees. And during the spring and the summer and the fall, they can have as much of it as they want as supplementary, supplementary to their diets. But in the winter, once the leaves fall, uh, we don't have this great resource. So we're trying something new this year based on a trial that we did last winter, which is to collect all the leaves now, pack them into one of these um, bags, which I have right here. You can pick these up um, at any big box store. They're about $17 for a pack of six. And we're gonna fill, fill these bags, vacuum seal it closed, and pop it in our commissary to freeze for the winter. Then on a gloomy day in December or January, uh, we'll open them up and distribute them to the animals so they can have fresh leaves uh, in the dead of winter. So we're hoping that this will be a successful program and we wouldn't be able to accomplish it without the help of all of our zoo science students from Friends University. So we're gonna take a look at some of our students here in action. We got Ruben here um, up high looking at some of those clippers. Uh, we've got Mackenzie, Denise, and a whole bunch of others that are here um, plucking those leaves. So the goal is we're taking the leaves off of the woody material, uh, we're putting it in the bucket, and then Dr. Hall will take all of those leaves and vacuum seal them in. And, and Dr. Hall, earlier you were saying that they, the, the bags we have now weigh about eight pounds each? Um, I think it's probably more than that. We have somewhere between eight to ten bags that we've already filled all the way up and um, leaves as you know are very lightweight so we can fit a lot into these bags and once they're vacuum sealed they're actually quite dense so I would guesstimate probably 15 to 20 pounds of leaves in each bag. That's wonderful, wow. So this is just one of the great ways that we make sure that animals have uh, enjoyable enrichment throughout the year. I'm going to kind of squeeze over here and let you see some of the other students at work. We are battling a couple of things over here just to let you know where we are. If I pan out a little bit you can see right here is the African barn. Um, this is our farm's pasture right here and we've done quite a few Facebook lives on the farm the farm's pasture as well as Africa. So we're here back of house where we are uh, taking these mulberry uh, leaves down. We have Mason that's also working on cutting up high. Um, you can see that what we're doing here is making sure to avoid the poison ivy. Um, and avoid the goat heads, those stickers which are so annoying. So we have all those pieces going on. So believe it or not, this is our, uh, our zookeeping techniques class. This is a class where we meet twice a week, one week for a lab and one week for our lecture. Um, this is actually part of our lecture today. You can see part of one of those bags that Dr. Hall has filled there. So our lecture today is actually on filtration that our deputy director is going to meet us for in just a few minutes. Uh, but we had about 20 extra minutes and we thought this would be a perfect time to work with Dr. Hall and really to continue to make sure with the students um, that we stressed all the time the importance of enrichment and, and animal welfare and how to think outside the box. Always making sure that we are putting animal welfare first, even when it's doing crazy things like how we can pluck leaves off branches to freeze in the freezer to be able to use later on. Stephanie, I see that uh, you guys were at the zoo earlier today. I'm so glad you were out here. It was a beautiful day to be out at the zoo. Um, and we have another interesting partnership with Friends University. Um, this week, 
Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, I believe, the Friends University Drama Program is actually having their opera here at the zoo. You can get tickets for that at the Friends University website under their um, arts program. So we try and partner with different organizations as much as possible. Obviously, with Friends University, we have several partnerships, uh, including the zoo science program, but anytime we can get our other community partners out and about and doing exciting things with them, we certainly try to. All right, everybody, this was just an extra edition of SCZ Live this week. It seemed like a fun time to show you some of the different things that we're out here doing. We hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. As always, thank you for joining us.